to my channel. This is Terry Gigi and I'm glad you joined me today. I just thought I would show you uh, some of my favorite things that I'm trying and a couple of new things I got. Random stuff. Okay. The thing that I've been trying, I wanted to give this brand a try. I have wanted to give this brand a try since I was in high school because my friend Deanne, her mom got her some Clinique and back then you could only buy it in a department store. And I just thought that she was the richest person and just the most glamorous teenager I knew to have Clinique skincare. Anyway, I've always wanted to try it since then. So guess what? I decided to try it. So I bought this little sample. The other thing, I've been traveling a lot. Well, not a lot, but I went to Texas kind of unexpectedly. My parents visited here for a week and then I went there for a week. So I'm so out of sorts kind of, but... We went to Ulta, my mom and I, and I bought this. It's a it's a sample. I know the lights are probably glaring it, but it's just the three-step creates great skin. I got number two, which is for dry to normal skin. And it's just three steps. It's not necessarily anti-aging, but I am absolutely loving it. First, you have this, which is like a, um, what's the word? Cleanser and your skin gets so clean. And I normally cannot use anything but water on my face. Like I use those makeup wipes or um, I use like the makeup washcloth that you get wet and it removes your makeup just by being wet. That's what I normally have to use. Of course, the day I use this, by the next day my face broke out. But I stuck with it and it's my face is doing fine with it. So that was pretty cool. Now this is step two, that's step one. Step two is um, this. Now a lot of people call this a um, toner. It is not a toner, it's an exfoliator. But it's just liquid. So you just wipe it off, um, wipe it on your skin after you cleanse it. Now y'all, I have to say that after I cleanse this, and I use this for my makeup, everything. I don't remove my eye makeup or anything. This removes everything like that. I don't even know. But um, <clears throat> when I use this with a cotton pad after cleansing my face, there is not one speck of anything on my face. So as I get older, I don't really want to use an exfoliator that scratches my skin. So I thought I would give that a try. And then finally, I got the third step is Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. It's in this little tube. Now, this was only $19.99, this little kit. So, um, and I have to be honest with you, I am in such a beachy mood, and this looks so beachy to me, those three colors together. Now, in case you can't see that, let me show you how cute this looks on your little, totally not a reason to buy it, but how cute does that look on your uh, nights, on your, by your sink? So cute and beachy looking. But I do, they do have a much stronger moisturizer for aging skin, and I think I'm going to give that a shot. This is perfectly fine, but I need something that will do more, I think, than that. Because that just makes your skin feel nice and wonderful, and I'm enjoying that. Now, this is my favorite find of the week. Um, I was in Ulta with my mom. And I bought a sample of this dry shampoo. No matter what they say, every dry shampoo leaves a white cast. I can't stand that. It's a pain. So I saw this, and I knew they made this, but I had never tried it. It says 96% recommended. Find out why. It's Batiste. Now, I have used Batiste before, but I've never seen it in this dark, divine dark. I tried the brunette. This is divine dark. And y'all... Not only does this clean my hair, but it's so amazing because in the back of my head, I'm not going to turn around and show you, but right here, my hair naturally parts like I don't even know what. It just parts and, it, and, and you can see my skin a little bit. It's not like I'm balding or a bald spot, but I hate it when I think I'm always doing that to make sure that my hair is falling naturally instead of with that weird diamond shaped weird thing going on. Y'all, this, I spray it back there, even when I'm not using it for dry shampoo, and it covers it. It's like, it's tinted. And I've tried different things for these two spots before to cover the gray in between. And everything is super messy. It gets all over. This just tends to, 
you just aim it and spritz it just like and and it takes that little tiny bit of gray y'all I can probably go an extra two or three weeks because this stuff is so amazing so if you have really dark hair either try the brunette or the divine dark that one works a lot better for me now I have to admit I am not one of those people that uses retail therapy I do not get my thrills if I'm in a bad mood or if I'm upset about something or whatever I never think I'm just gonna go buy something now I was kind of in a rut a while back and that's when I did my spring um, what did I call it refresh for my dining room breakfast room area in the apartment and that was super fun and I really loved that day of going two days I went out kind of shopping well I had the worst day yesterday the worst Scott and I had all these plans and they just fell apart and we didn't get to do it and on top of that it was just so much stress right now we're having some stress in our lives right now good stress but it's stressful so he he left he had to go out of town and he left about noon and I was just sitting there on top of everything else we didn't get to do all our stuff that we were gonna do so I'm just sitting there and I'm really in a funk like I felt like I was gonna spiral a little bit y'all and I just can't do that I can't do that I did I did that enough in my life that now I say no you're gonna get yourself out of it so I said change of scenery change of scenery so I grabbed my car keys and then I remembered that today was the left that day Monday was the last day of the Sephora VIB sale and I thought and I had thought about going before because I go every year I my origins Vitasing for either 15 or 20 percent off because it's very expensive well Sephora quit selling it so I said I'm not even going in there and having the temptation because they don't have my Vitasing I don't need anything okay this is what happened I went and y'all this put me in the best mood ever okay <laughs> Ever. I haven't tried any of this it's the next day and I wanted to show it to you first because it's all so cute and I'm telling you being in kind of the beachy mood that I'm in this is so fun okay now I shared with you in my spring fling, spring fling video about using Benetint on your cheeks and I said you know it stains your skin you can use it on your lips and I said you know I think it comes in maybe one other color I'm not even sure it does it comes in like four colors I was really surprised so I went in there y'all you should have seen my arm it was totally pink I tried all the colors and I chose because I really like doing that for blush and lips sometimes not today I bought the lolly tint it's a little bit different color the one I used before was almost a red almost in fact, I've got the old one on my cheeks. I was dying to try this, but I wanted to show you. Here it is. It's a lolly tint. Oh, and um, it's a very, I don't know if you can see, it's a very funky pink. You probably can't see it, but when you smooth it out, it's beautiful. So that was the first thing I purchased at the sale. I got the lolly tint, and I can't wait to use it. Well, then there was this other one that I kind of wanted. No, wait, let me show you this first. And then don't even ask me what I was doing. I was just, Benefit Cosmetics just really always catches my eye. I mean, I just love their vibe, their theme, their just, I just love their packaging and kind of their, their vibe. And so I was looking at the whole thing. And of course, I come across another beachy item. It's called Do the Hula, D-E-W. And what it is, and I tried this in the store too, but I haven't tried it at home. It is, um, it's a, okay. You know how I'm, I, I'm trying to use all, uh, no powder, the, as few powder products as I can. And this is, um, believe, believe this bronze. It's a year round glow without the gleam, okay? What it is is a liquid bronzer. How cute is this kind of a tiki style bottle? I think it's so cute. I hope you can see it with the lights. And it has a pump. And all I did is I pumped a little bit on my arm and I smoothed it out. And it was the prettiest bronzy glow. So this will be great on my skin, kind of in down a little bit in the summer. So I thought that would be pretty, pretty cute. 
because I don't really wear moisturizer. I mean, moisturizer. I don't really wear foundation. So I thought this would be really cute, kind of as a foundation. I don't know. So that was the second. And then the last thing I got, and this will be the end of the video. Because they had other tints, you know, on the in the Benetton, there was another one I kind of wanted, wanted to try. And then I saw this little, I didn't even see the package. All I saw were the products. This little bag comes in the, with these four products. And it says, I pink, I, I pink, I love you. That doesn't make sense. I think, oh my God, I pink, I love you, David Cassidy. I think I love you. Okay. There is the box. And it came with four items. It came with a little mini Benetton in a different color. Um, I'll have to look and see what color that was. Anyway, when I got home, y'all, I think I thought that the little bag had this on it. I thought I was seeing through the package. Look how cute this is. Y'all, how cute is that? It's a little makeup bag and it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like iridescent, like a mermaid almost. It's so pretty. And I was just like, ah! When I got home, I was super excited. It doesn't take a lot, okay? It doesn't take a lot for me to get excited. Okay, so here we go. I haven't opened it. Here's the little samples. And you know what? I'm still in a good mood over all this. I'm still happy. So, I guess the, the moral of the story is sometimes retail therapy can help a little bit. I mean, that is just not my thing, but... I hope it doesn't become my thing because that could be expensive. Okay, so there's four little mini adorable samples in here. The Benetit, it's Posy Tint. It's, um, let's see what, I forgot what this one looked like. I think this was, yeah, this was a really bright pink. But again, once you smooth it out, it just, you know, it just looks cute. It's adorable. So I got the Posy Tint. So I'm trying another one. It came with um, Roller Lash, a little mascara. Um, what is this? Sorry, I have, to, I have to look and see what this is. Dandelion Dew. Soft Baby Pink Radiance <gasps> for cheeks. Yes. I did look at this in the store. I just, I'm now remembering. Oh, it's another pump. So you pump it out and you can use it as, as little rosy cheeks. Cute. And then I got a dandelion blush, or I plan on using this more for eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, how cute. It came with a little mini brush. And then there is the, oh, there's the, the um, stuff in there. Oh, okay, maybe now you can see better. There's the stuff there. Okay, that was a terrible thing, what I just did. But how cute with the little brush. You can just do it like that. I probably will use it more for eyeshadow. It's even got a mirror. It's a usable mirror. Oh, and it's magnetic. Oh, Y'all, how cute. I can't even talk about it. It's all so cute. So I'm going to put this all back. If y'all would like a makeup tutorial using all these products, hey, I'm down. Um, but, you know, I'm not a makeup tutorial type of person. But if you would like to see me demonstrate these, you know, I could. Anyway, how cute. I feel so much better for no real reason. Obviously, things and money cannot buy happiness. But if you feel yourself getting, getting just, ugh, you know, you can interrupt it. You can interrupt it. And, you know, I could have just bought one of these things and felt totally better yesterday at um, Sephora. But... It was so just wonderful. I loved it. I'm glad I did it. I don't regret it. I don't feel guilty about it. I don't know why I'm talking like this. If you have not watched my video before this, which says pack your bags, we're going to Paris, be sure to go check that video out and uh, see if you want to join me in Paris in October of 2018. Hey y'all, I've never done a video like this. I just literally put the camera on top of this little card table, I mean, TV tray, I don't even know. And I'm just in my office and I'm sitting in front of a hall with nothing behind me. But I wanted to, I was about to put this stuff all away 
And um, I just went and picked up a few things at TJ Maxx and they're so funny that I thought I would show them to you. Oh, this necklace drives me crazy, y'all. I can't ever get it right. Okay, it's gonna flip around, that's okay. Anyway, my parents are coming in the morning, so I went to TJ Maxx and I thought, you know, I have a couple things to get, so I'm gonna get something for my mom, just a little, you know, gifty gift. And I can't, I couldn't find anything. And then when I came across this, it was so cute. Hold on, I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, this is it. Um, this is a little fan. I mean, how cute and retro is this little fan, y'all? Because we don't have a ceiling fan in the room they're gonna sleep in, but I have a tower fan, but my mom has to have wind directly blowing on her face. And so I saw it's like a little navy, cute fan, y'all. So I bought it, and look at the little tag. Look at the little, the little switch. You can go to this side for low and that side for high. Isn't that the cutest thing? Okay. Then when I was also in TJ Maxx, this LED lighted makeup mirror, it takes three AAA batteries, cordless. I'm gonna take this out of the box in a minute and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, also in TJ Maxx, I have been running around this house with nothing, nothing cute to wear to bed anymore. I just, just yuck. I'm, I found this, it's just a dress, just a dress thing. It's just, it's, I mean, it's pajamas, but it's just like a dress. It's so cute, so comfy. I can't wait to wear it. And then this, I have something very similar to this, but um, it's ratty and old. So I got a new one, it's a set. It's this little nightgown, so cute. This is my favorite kind of thing to wear to bed. But then, it, but it's real thin, so it's great for travel. And then this is the matching robe. And again, so cute, so, um, you know, nothingness to fold up to. Y'all, oh, I use these um, cotton rounds from Dollar Tree, either Dollar Tree or Dollar General, either one. They work so great. Don't waste your money somewhere else. Um, also, Dollar Tree has these really beautiful candles. They're just white, and they say the Rose Collection New York, and they're just really pretty. I think they just look really, you know, you could have them like that where you didn't even have the label. So I got two of those for a dollar, you know, a dollar each. Okay, I also went to Walmart. I had to run all these dumb errands because I had to get some flowers for my parents' room and I wanted to get my mom something, and then I just ended up getting other stuff. You know how that goes. Okay. And this time, I got Tropical Mango. I love this stuff. It makes you so, so soft and silky smooth. And, I and then the other place I went was Bath and Body Works because Scott uses this stuff that's um, shampoo and body wash in one. Only a guy could do that, right? And it was called like Energize or something, and he really, really loves it, y'all. So I went to pick up another one, and there was another kind that he used, same thing, but another scent that he uses. They quit making it. I was so upset. So the lady, they quit making that whole line. So now they've changed. Of course they shrunk the bottle. Now um, the one I got was bourbon, and it's still two-in-one hair and body wash. Okay. I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna go try out my makeup mirror. Okay, y'all, I got the um, makeup mirror working. And so here it is. And I don't know if this is gonna blind you, probably, but there it is. It's so bright, too. The reason it's, it's eight times, though, on this side, which might be a little bit too much. I don't know. I'll have to put it on a table Anyway, it's super cute, isn't it? I like it. You can probably see my camera. <laughs> I should use this as lighting. How does that look when you're lit from below? It's supposed to be really good. Does it look good? I don't know. And I just noticed how much how my hair is such a mess. Anyway, cute. I like it. All right, that's it for my little um, impromptu vlog. Bye.